COVID-19 is now spreading around the world. Today in China, the reported number of cases rose to nearly 81,000 total infected people in the country. In Korea, we have over 7,000 people infected with COVID-19. So now the whole world is starting to face this crisis situation with this virus. So that made us ask the question, what could we do to solve this problem? As software developers, we decided to use open source projects to try and develop something that can help uh, mitigate against this crisis. Hi, I'm Chris, a software developer at AI Network. We have been having a tough time with the rising number of COVID-19 infections here in Korea. Developers in Korea have made so many applications related to COVID-19, such as COVID maps, mask finders, etc. But these applications often scrape data using different APIs from sometimes conflicting data sources. We decided to solve this problem using open source as a service to make access to accurate, shareable data related to COVID-19 more easy for people to find. Um, so this here is the first of the two projects currently running on Ionize that we're going to go over and show how you can use these open resource available projects to get up to date information on the coronavirus. The COVID-19 API exposes REST endpoints which can be used to get daily updated information on how the coronavirus is spreading around the world. And all this information is updated by John Hopkins University. I think that's uh, Center for Systems and Science Engineering. I think that's what the CSSE stands for. So if we click here, um, this is a link to where this data source is coming from. So it's super reliable. Um, and now for any project that you ever want to run on Ionize, the first thing we do is we go to that GitHub page, click on the big giant run on Ionize purple button. And here we are. So this is page for the uh, COVID-19 API. Um, we have three links here that we can use to get information, uh, updated information on the virus. This first one here is this brief endpoint. So let's try running this on Ionize right now. Click on try it out and execute. Okay, so here we have the just general overview of the total information regarding the virus. Um, so this is the number of confirmed cases, the total number of deaths, and the total number of recoveries from the coronavirus. Uh, next, we have this latest endpoint. Let's click on get. And uh, what this will do here is this will give you a breakdown of the current status of the virus in each country as it currently stands. So let's click on try it out and then execute. Okay, so we see here we have this big, big list of information where each, each individual uh, entry in this list constitutes a kind of individual region and we get the information for that region. And there's one more endpoint here. So this is time series. Rather than here where we have the just the total number to date for each country region, the number of uh, confirmed recovered cases and deaths, this will break down by day as to how many cases there were every single day for each individual region. So let's click on get here and try it out. And here we go here. So this is, we have country code here. We said this is for China, for this province here. And then if you click here, time series, you have a list of each date and then what the state, the total number of confirmed deaths and recovered cases were for that day in this re in that individual region. So you can query this endpoint just like I showed you to do for the last uh, REST endpoint and um, extract the information that you need, information that you need that's relative to your application. So now let's take a look at the next uh, ionize application that you can use to get up-to-date information on the current state of the coronavirus. Okay, so this is our second project that we're gonna be looking at that is currently running on ionize that can be used to get up-to-date information on the coronavirus. And this actually here is a front-end project called CoronaBoard, um, which takes those endpoints that we showed you from the last video, puts this really nice user interface on it and lets you kind of get a good visual view of the information um, using those endpoints that we showed from the last video. So let's click on this run on Ionize button here. As you can see here, you've got taking just those three endpoints that we showed you in the last video, you're able to build these, uh, this Ionize user was able to build these very cool heat maps, um, get these, you see these worldwide counts here, showing the worldwide confirmations, recoveries and deaths. And then you can query regionally here. So just enter your country here. So let's go for say Germany. And then we'll get the total number of confirmed uh, recovered and deaths in Germany. And then we also show this tracking here of how those cases in Germany have evolved over time. Uh, if you'd like to get information on how you create a project like this for yourself, please check out this 
cool demo here, uh, just follow this link here, medium.com uh, at Soapple, and he will give you, this blog here will give you information on how you can create a website like this in just one day, which I think is pretty impressive. And if you look through, not too long, just a four minute read. So if you would like to build a project like this yourself, run it on ionized. Okay, so that's the two projects for today. Uh, thank you for watching the video and don't forget to click on the subscribe button uh, listening to this week's weekly ionized video and I'll talk to you guys next week.